Hello, I'm Dylan, a cloud developer at Westloop Strategy and AWS Partner. As part of a learning series for parameters in QuickSight, this will be an in-depth look at utilizing those parameters with navigation actions. One of the scenarios that I really like to use these navigation actions is from the executive summary sheet of a dashboard. Somewhere the user will be looking at many different high-level metrics in a single location. This is a great place to set up a navigation action that will take the viewer to a sheet with a more in-depth view of the metric that is being highlighted. Let's consider a visual that simply shows the profit for each of the products your company offers. Now, if the reader wanted to single out a product and get a better view of what is affecting the profit, we can set up an action to take them to the sheet with that information and set a product parameter to the value of the product they selected to filter the visuals. Select the three dots and click Actions on the visual you want to include this navigation action on. Giving the action a name is significantly more important if we use the Menu option selection, where it will prompt the user to navigate. But for this use case, we will keep it as a select. Then in the Action Type dropdown, we will choose Navigation Action. Now we can point this action to the, the sheet that will give us more information about each product our company sells. Then the most important item is the parameter section at the bottom. We will click the plus button and choose the products parameter that we want to manage and set it to the products field in our visual. Now when we look at this visual and choose a product we want to find more information about, it will take us to the sheet with the data we want filtered to the specific product we selected. Thanks for joining today. To find more exciting coverage of how we help our customers use AWS cloud technology or to schedule a QuickSight training session, visit our website and follow us on LinkedIn. Thank you.